I always say pleasing is a defense because it sounds like a nice thing, like to be pleasing, but it really is the reason most of us please is to avoid the other person being mad at us or avoid just someone being disappointed in us. And so a lot of young women would please, if they had a critical mother, they would please their way through the, the early life because that's what helped them survive, right? Don't upset the mother, walk on eggshells. Here, mom, I'm going to do the extra chores for you. And then we it becomes a part of our... Um, we think that's who we are then. We, we forget yeah. that we're, we're reacting to something early on and then we think that's who we are. Or we could be the opposite, the, the yeah. daughter that rebels and, you know, does the goth or paints her hair a different color and, you know, is just like nonconformist and rejects the mother. And then that's her, her kind of go-to survival kit to go out in the world and part of the, and then, then she'll go out in the world as an adult and needs to be that rebel all the time, needs to stir mm. things up and, you know. So it, yeah. it really is very interesting how it, your early life does really create the world that you see and perceive when it's, a lot of times it's a misperception. It's like a veil that covers the truth of things. Yeah, and it is highly individualized, meaning it's a personal subjective interpretation that the individual is making about what happened in her early life. But in general, what I've seen is this pattern of anger, because anger has to be suppressed continuously in the family, and uh, and resentment towards the mother or anything like that definitely has to be repressed. It's like taboo to resent your mother. You're supposed to love yeah. your mother, right? Yeah, not only you're supposed to, but instinctive, biologically, the, the mother is the one that cares for you and, mm. and feeds you. And so if you have any resentment against her, you cannot express it because that might mean she rejects you and that would equal death to you. Mm -hmm. So instinctively... You try to be uh, very subservient to the mm. mother, pleasing. And then that you have, in order to do, the, I, the pleasers have such a, a huge anger built up because, and I think for women, don't you think that, um, and I know I hate the male, women, female, but as women, we're, we're really conditioned to, you know, be nice and we play with the dolls and we have the teacups and the boys are out there, you know, playing war and, and mm. tackling. And there's a lot of like, it's a different kind of energy moving. Well, we got our own problems. <laughs> yeah, but that's but true. This, this talk is specifically about the daughter or mother. But that's how I was thinking why yeah. women have so much anger because it's only like society, an angry woman is very terrible. Like it's like, you know, she's lost her her mind. Like she she's can't manage her emotions and we can't be angry. Well, yeah, but it creates this this problem, this conflict, an internal conflict, because then relationships is where it's going to, yeah. where that anger is going to play out. Mm -hmm. Some some in some form, either as as projection that uh, that you're making me angry, the guy or the person that the woman loves is making me angry, or it turns into self anger, which is depression. Mm. It becomes a depression. You be, that beating yourself up so yeah. much that you you can't um, you can't function anymore, or you're afraid to make a, a step out in the world because it just feels so unsafe. For me, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people too. They get so hard when they make a mistake mm -hmm. that they get angry at themselves, and they don't realize how much anger they keep taking on and like toward themselves. And I think that um, we all think that we're mad at the world, but we do never examine why we're so angry with ourselves and and um and that kind of uh you know um, criticism the negative thinking is really that light kind of sense of anger but the, beneath that there's a lot of rage yes. that we want to get in touch with that's it because yeah. there's power in it it's like all it's like I, it's like every time uh you say yes to someone when you mean no you're like it's like a pocket of power you just stuffed and you imagine your whole life just stuffing that power, stuffing that power. And then it's like a boiling <laughs> underneath. And the persona is like, no, 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 we can't show our anger. And everyone smiles uh, that all of a sudden it's going to have to be dealt with. And it's going to show yeah. up in other people being angry, uh, disappointed in you, like causing problems. And you think, why are there, there are so many angry people out there? Yeah. And you're like, well... They, they're in your consciousness because they're a part of you in some way, and we have to retrieve that projection.